Today I'll be going over how to replace an existing three-way switch that operates this light. Here's an overview. Now the switches are working properly. I'm just updating them because I did some painting. This style here is a rocker and that one's a pool. I'm going to change those out and we're going to dig in and see what we run into. Purchase these at Home Depot, Lovington. I'll put a link in the description. Rocker. This configuration may differ from an older switch in older homes. I've ran in a situation where none of the legs are color coded. I'll cover that next. Having an understanding of how a three-way switch operates will greatly assist when wiring it up. Such as, here's the black post on both switches. One can receive power from the breaker panel, and this one will receive power from the traveler wires. You have a gold post here and one here. It sends power to here, depending on the position of the switch. And they travel back and forth. Then you got your ground lug and then neutrals are all tied together. So I'll explain more of this as we go. Next, I need to kill power to that light. I'll go down, turn the breaker off. Double check to see if the power's off. All right. Now you wanna bring both switches out from the wall. So here's an example. There's no black leg on there. So how do we know which one is hot? So what you do next, remove all the wires and let them sit in their current state, just hanging both switches. There's a little bit of paint on that lug. It appears to be black, but I'm not going to chance it. And then we got gold on this side and that side. And using a meter, it's hard to diagnose with the travel wires hooked up because they're giving a signal back and forth. So I'm going to take it down to scratch. What we'll do, remove all these wires and let them stand right in the position they're currently in. Here's the other switch. You can see I have the wires spread out nicely. What we need to do now is turn the breaker back on and then we'll find out which black wire is hot all the time, whether it be in this box or the other. And with a multimeter, you choose your AC side. I'm on 200 volts because we're working with 120. Ground, no power, power, no power. Okay, that's very weird that they have 120 volts on a white wire. I mean, you can do that in the travelers. Let's go check the other one. I've got the ground connected here. <laughs> Six. Nothing. Oh my goodness. So I'm not sure what they've done, but that white wire on the other switch is hot all the time. So that's where it would hook up to this black terminal, hot all the time. So we're gonna start over there. I just turned the breaker off, double checking. So you can use a white wire as a hot wire. You just need to wrap it with black tape. So black and red always represent hot wires. Now, if an electrician gets in here, he will know that's hot right from the start. There's our hot terminal. It's also known as common between the two switches. These two are traveler wires on each side, down here, one up here. And it doesn't matter which way they go.
case ground. Then I use the Klein with the master tip so you can really grip on these screws and give them nice torque. So this one's done, and we'll leave it hang in case we run into issues, right? I'm 99.9% .9 confident the switch I just wired is correct. So I'm going to turn the breaker on and see if I can electrically diagnose which is the travel wires. Power is back on. I don't trust this. It's too sensitive. It says that's hot. It says that's hot. And not that one. Let's see what the meter says. We got the ground leg already hooked up. Alright, no power. Power. So now I have to change the position of the other switch. And that will change this layout. Alright, switch is in the opposite position. Now there's no power here. You got power there. And none there. This didn't have power both times. So by switching that, this is a traveler wire. And if I switch it again, this becomes a travel wire. And this would be the common. I'm sure of it. So I'm going to put that on the black leg of the switch and see what happens. But first, I got to remove power. I'll go turn the power on. I think I got it. Nice. Let's move on to the next situation. See what we find. Before I move forward, I'd like to make a correction, clarify. Earlier, I said one of the travel wires runs to the light. That's incorrect. Travel wires run between switch to switch, and they alternate power depending on which direction to switch. And that's all they do. Secondly, one switch, this black lug, is connected to the wire coming from the breaker panel power in and then the second switch that black lug is connected to the light wire running to the light power out here's the three-way switch in this bank operates the light in that direction it's already done so i gotta do the other half In this bank, we have a single switch, operates lights outside. This is a three-way, I just showed you. And then this is a three-way for the lower level. So I head down to turn the breaker off. Nice! I can't see. Flathead screws. Earlier, I was talking about neutrals being wired together. These already are. And that's a huge lug back there. But some of these traveler wires can be white. However, I see black and red. So this looks good. So let's see what we got. We got old style screws again. I don't know which one's the hot. But I do know the other switch on both of these are hooked up correct, working correctly. So maybe I could see if I can diagnose this electrically. Nothing there. Nothing. No. Does the thing work? Oh, I'm on the wrong switch. All right, we got a ground. We've got power. Power.
I got low voltage there. I don't know why you'd get the feed through. Maybe it's a bad switch. And let's see what we got on this side. Low voltage. Now it's zero. Let me hold that and do it. There's some bleed through here. Oh man, I don't know why. Maybe because there's so much wiring in there, it's ridiculous. That's the way they did it. So that basically didn't tell me anything. But since I know the other switch is correct, I'll just unwire this and do the same thing we just did on the other one. Say goodbye. So what we're looking for is a wire with consistent no power. These two no power. That one has power. Now let me switch the switch up above. Okay, I've got it switched. Power. No power. No power. So this one had no power no matter what position the switch was in. Meaning this one gets hooked up to the black lug on the switch. And this is the wire that runs to the light. And when these are hooked up, these send power through the switch, through here, to the light. We'll do a test. Turn the power on. Should we do another one? So I'm skipping to the electrical diagnostic with the power on. What we're trying to find now is the leg that has power on all the time, regardless of the switch. See? These two will change with the switch. Same with this one. That means these two top ones are the travelers and this will connect to the black lug on the new switch. So that last scenario worked well. Find a wire that's hot all the time and that would go to your black lug on the switch. And the other two that fluctuate will be the traveler wires. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Hope this has helped someone. And if you'd like to watch other videos, such as wiring up a GFCI or a thermostat for electric baseboard heat, I'll provide a link 